Hey, what's up? Skillshot of 4 here. So the closed beta for Valorant is finally out and I spent quite a bit of time playing it. Valorant has a lot of hype surrounding it and I want to make a video showing you guys if it actually lives up to that hype. So today we're going to be talking about whether or not Valorant is actually good. I have four main points or questions concerning the game to determine whether or not it actually is good. These points are, is the game fun? Is the game balanced? Will the game become stale? And is the game intuitive? Let's discuss the first question. Is the game fun? In order for a game to be successful and last, it must be enjoyable. If you're not having fun playing it, then no one's going to play it any longer. And from my personal playtime, I can attest that the game is indeed very fun. One of the first things I want to talk about that makes the game so fun is the art style. The art style is nice and clean and pleasant to look at. This adds to the experience because it just feels good when you're playing it. Valorant is very bright and vibrant and full of all sorts of color which really adds to the atmosphere of it. If they had made the game more grim and realistic it would not be as enjoyable to play. The unique art style that they went for really adds a certain charm to it. The sound design for Valorant is also incredibly well done. The gun sounds have a lot of weight behind them and they feel powerful. Every time you use the gun, you really feel that it's going to do some damage. This feeling really adds to the game and makes it a lot more fun than if you were to use guns that were lightweight and didn't feel very powerful. Now what really makes the game fun is the gameplay. It doesn't matter if you have good art and sound design if the gameplay is poor. Valorant is the perfect balance between fast paced shooter and tactical shooter. There are going to be a lot of times where you're going to be sitting and watching a corner and waiting for the enemy or trying to decide which strat to run, but there are also going to be a lot of times when you're going to have to go on guns blazing and flicking to all the enemy's heads. This creates a really nice balance that appeals to a wide range of players. The abilities are fun to use and are super unique and there's always something new to try out. The creativity allowed in Valorant is one of the things that makes it so fun to play. So to wrap all that up, I would say yes, Valorant is a very fun game. Now the next point in question is, is the game balanced or is the game competitively viable? After playing for a while, I can say that it is in fact competitively viable and it is fairly balanced. The only thing that needs a little bit of tweaking are some of the abilities. Some abilities are certainly much stronger than others. However, I didn't find any of the abilities so strong that they could be considered broken. Aside from that, I think everything else in the game is fairly well balanced. The guns and the economy system work quite well and create a nice balanced gameplay. If you play well and do well in a round, you're going to have more money going forward and are going to have an advantage over your opponents. On the flip side, however, all the guns are powerful enough that if you are a good player, you can bounce back from a loss even when you have the disadvantage. Games can easily be turned around in favor of the other side. You always have to stay on your toes and be playing at your best in order to win. Another thing that Valorant does well is that it has a nice balance between the abilities and the guns. The abilities don't outshine the guns too much and the guns don't outshine the abilities too much. I would definitely say between the two that gunplay is a little bit more important than using your abilities. But this is a good thing because it makes the game a little bit more skill based. If the abilities were stronger than the guns, then you would die to them more often and you would feel helpless more often. If abilities were significantly more powerful than guns, it could become very frustrating because a lot of times you can't do anything when the enemies use their abilities. The gunplay is just strong enough that you can counter any abilities someone throws at you if you know how to use them correctly. One more thing to note is that the maps are pretty balanced as well. In the games I played, I did not notice a large disparity between the win rate on attack and the win rate on defense. Certain maps or bomb slates may lean one way or the other, but as a whole, I believe they're very well balanced. Riot did a good job designing the maps, which is important because if all the gameplay mechanics were good, but the maps were very poor, then the game as a whole would suffer greatly. However, this is not the case and I believe that the maps are very solid. So to cover that point, as a whole, I believe yes, Valorant is quite balanced in its current state. 
There are some minor things here and there that could be fixed to make it a little bit more balanced, but most of the game is pretty good. So the third point I want to cover and question I want to ask is, will the game become stale? Now this is a difficult question to answer because the game has not been out long at all. At the time of this video, in fact, the beta has only been out around a week. But based on how the game plays out and my time in it, I think it's going to stay fresh and interesting. I think it will stay fresh and interesting because of all the variety and creativity that's available. Now, I'm sure a meta will develop for taking bomb sites and taking map control, but that's where the agents come in. The abilities that the agents possess, I believe, will keep it new and interesting every time you play the game. Currently, there's around 10 agents in the game, and some of them have similar abilities, but they also have a lot of abilities that are unique to that particular agent. Riot plans to add more and more agents as the game goes on, which will introduce new ways to play the game. This variety of agents will also allow you to switch up your playstyle. If you want to play an intel character like Cypher, you can do that. But if you want to switch it up and try to play a fragger, you could go for Phoenix. You will always have the ability to come up with new ways to play the game and new ways to do things. And it's all these options that I believe will prevent the game from becoming too stale. It appears that the future of this game will become much more interesting, not less interesting. And that's a very good thing. So to finish up covering that point, I believe no, the game will not become stale. It will only become more interesting and fresh. The last question I want to answer is, is the game intuitive? Now, what do I mean by intuitive? This is something that can be a little bit difficult to explain. What I mean by intuitive is, does the game make sense? Is what you're supposed to do clear? Let me give an example of this. In Valorant, there are a lot of walls that are wall bangable. It would take a very long time to memorize all the walls that are wall bangable and all the walls that are not. So what Riot has done is that they added a feature that when you shoot a wall and it's wall bangable, a bullet hole will appear. However, if you shoot at a wall that is not wall bangable, then it will just spark off and not leave a bullet hole. Now, all the guns in Valorant have penetration values. Various guns can penetrate one wall that other guns cannot. Riot's system for identifying which walls can be wall banged make it very easy to determine which guns can penetrate what. If you shoot a surface with a gun that is too weak to penetrate it, it won't show a bullet hole. However, if you shoot the surface with a gun that is powerful enough to penetrate it, it will show a bullet hole. This makes sense. It shows players what they can and can't do. And it makes it very easy to check whether or not you can do something. Another example of something that's intuitive is the map design. It's very clear on the maps where you're supposed to go and what you're supposed to hold. There's very little clutter in Valorant, and so if there's an object around, you can normally play around it and use it to your advantage. For instance, if there's boxes on site, then you know that you can play behind those boxes and that's a position that you can hold. The clean art style of the game really helps with this and allows the game to make sense. It didn't take me long at all to figure out how to play the game. The minimap is very well laid out and the fact that blue barriers are shown on the minimap will allow you to know where the enemy could be coming from. You know exactly where the enemy could be and when they could be there. You don't have to guess that they got a good spawn or guess where they're going to start out at. You know where they're going to start out at. And you know that they could get to the exact same spot every single round consistently. This makes sense. It's clear. It helps you to understand the game. When I've been playing Valorant, I've never been lost or stuck or confused at what to do. It's very clear to me what I should go and do next and what I could do. This is one of the most important things for a game like this to get right. And so to wrap up that question, I would say yes, Valorant is very intuitive and it makes a lot of sense. Now I'm just going to do a quick review of everything I talked about. First, the game is fun. It's very fun to play, it's very interesting, and it always keeps you coming back for more. Second, the game is balanced. I never found a certain ability or a certain gun or position too overpowered. There was always a way I could overcome a situation that I was in. Third, the game doesn't feel like it's going to become stale. There's a lot of variety and creativity in the gameplay and the abilities of the agents and new agents that will be coming really keeps it fresh. And last, the game is intuitive. It's clear what you should do and it makes sense how to play it. 
Right, so that's pretty much it for my video. I really hope you guys liked it. If you did, please leave a like and comment. And if you would like to see more Valorant content, consider subscribing because I'm going to be releasing a new video for Valorant every single week. Thank you all for watching and I will see you next time.